Hello, it's Indira from Envy Arts Creations. Thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to do a painting. This is a 12 by 24 uh, gallery wrap canvas. And a little bit ago, about a month ago, I think, I had did a painting and I said that I wanted to do a series. So it's going to be three paintings and it was inspired by a childhood friend, Ramel. She um, collects marbles. And so this was a marble inspired painting. And the first painting I did, I did an open cup pour. And so I'm going to use these same colors and I'm going to do a blowout today. Um, yeah, and so, like I said, the colors will be the same. To me, this one didn't um, have a lot of blue, so I'm hoping to capture a little more blue there. It had a lot of the uh, green black. And so the colors are mixed already and i will just apply them to the canvas we're not going to um we're not going to put anything on the canvas the reason is is that i don't want it to take away from the vibrancy of the colors um and i'm going to think about whether i'm going to just put a tad of black because it was black in the marble it is black in the other painting um, but I'm not going to flood the canvas with anything. So let's get started. I'm not going to put them in any type of order or any design per se. I'm just going to um, pour them on a the canvas and see where it goes from there. Black. Or some silver. Well, ooh. with that, um, I think I'll do like maybe like a couple of dots of black. Again, I don't want to use a lot of black. I still want the black to be represented in the painting, but I don't want it to overtake the painting. Uh, one thing to note, I forgot, um, and I was wondering why I was having a hard time when I was blow drying the last one. Um, I forgot the attachment. The attachment is very important because it allows the air to funnel through um, and it just makes it easier for the paint uh, to flow when the air funnels through. Hmm. Let me see. I see a couple of air bubbles. Let's see. Oh, she worked on the first try. You know this thing is temperamental. Now, I can't do a lot because I don't want to hit the canvas per se. I just want to get a couple of those air bubbles out. Okay. So here we go. So what I can tell you is this nozzle is the truth the attachment and it blew so much better than it did the last time i'm loving the cells that are coming up um i will add some more paint i'm going to play with this a little bit before i add some and then i will see what i'm going to do in terms of adding some and i think the touch of black is really coming up so this is really turning out nice Like this right here, I'm just trying to make sure that the whole canvas, that's not just like a piece of white. So I'm going to add some colors right in here. But yeah, I really like this design. This technique with these colors and the way that it's coming out. 
And I have to tell you that I procrastinated for quite a few hours <laughs> because I was just so nervous. I didn't know how it was going to turn out. But I knew that I wanted to do it. And I what did it with um. I wasn't paying attention when I did that. I was looking over here because I like these tiles. I'm trying to see what I can try to see. Mm -hmm. So guys, I love it. Um, there were a couple of places where there was a little more black, but I kind of went over it. So it's not that I see. I'm trying to use this timber mill torch. There we go. I'm trying to use it to see if any colors will come up. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I can see where some colors are coming up. And that's what my intent was in using the torch this particular time. I didn't see any air bubbles. So let's see if there's any places I think that I need to do something to. No, I think it looks nice. Position. I'm going to, um, I will do my sides and I will bring you in for a close-up. We'll see if I do anything else. The close-up starting in the left corner. So because this piece is so big, I'm going to go, of course, left to right. And then I'm going to go down to the right corner. And I'm paying close attention because I'm trying to get it all. Like this is the largest painting I did, I guess. The lengthwise. And so now we're going to go to the left. And then I will go back up. I will try to come out for you. At the last minute, I was getting ready to do the close up and uh, something fell on it, so I had to rework some of it. But it is what it is. Again, the blow dryer technique, just trying to capture the colors in the marble as close as I could. Um, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you have, I appreciate it. Please like, share, comment, all of those things help the channel. And until we meet again, cheers to painting.